we are going to find the formula of calcium carbide and the two products of hydrolysis of calcium carbide in this question. The question tells us that the oxidation number of carbon in calcium carbide is negative 1. Calcium is a group 2 metal. So it always loses two electrons to form a calcium 2 positive ion. Carbon in the carbide as a negative 1 oxidation number. So to balance the charge on the cation and form a zero charge compound, we are going to need two negative 1 carbide. I can use the oxidation numbers to find number of carbide in the compound. So this would give me x is so I know the formula of the calcium carbide is CAC2. You can simply use the crossing method. You will still get the same formula of the compound, which is CAC2. So that rules out A and B. So only C or D can be the answer. Now this line tells us that calcium carbide is hydrolyzed by water to give two products only. So calcium carbide, CAC2, will react with water to form two products. Now by looking at answers in C and D, hydrolysis will form calcium oxide with ethene or calcium hydroxide with ethene. So let's balance the equation and see which one can be formed. So let's just use one water molecule first. Calcium oxide. 1O is used here. So that means the other hydrocarbon product will be C2H. Two. Right. If we use one water molecule, we should get calcium oxide and ethyne. But if you look at the answer in C, if there is calcium oxide, then the other product will be ethene. But we will not be able to get ethene because there's no enough hydrogen from one water molecule. Now let's try another combination. Calcium carbide, this time with two water molecules. And get calcium hydroxide, like the one in answer D. The other product will be C2H2. So the answer to this question is D.